We'll talk about what a vasectomy is and how it is done. A vasectomy is a dependable method of permanent birth control for men who are satisfied with their fertility. In many cases, that satisfaction means a certain number of children, whereas in others, it may mean no children at all. This surgical procedure was developed as a means of contraception in the early 20th century and has been used consistently since the 1950s. Although many men choose not to do it and prefer to continue leaving the contraceptive responsibility to their partners. This is a simple 10-minute procedure performed in a doctor's office or clinic with a local anesthetic that causes no changes in the sexual function or performance of the individual. The objective is to prevent sperm from entering the semen by cutting only the vas deferens, which is the channel communicating the testicles and the rest of the tubing system in the male anatomy. Remember that 95% of the semen is just support fluid that feeds the sperm, made by two glands, the prostate and seminal vesicles, located in the pelvis, behind and beneath the bladder, and above the area that will be interrupted. So how do we get to the vas deferens or the vas tube? The easiest place to access the vas tubes is just above the testicles where the vas are beneath the thin skin of the scrotum. It is easy to feel and very mobile. During a vasectomy, I administer an anesthetic solution to numb the area with a pressure spray device and I numb the skin of the scrotum and the vas tubes without having to use any needles. Then I use a special instrument to perform the procedure through a single very small axis opening about a fourth of an inch on the front side of the scrotum. This usually seals within hours and no stitches are needed at the end of the procedure. Through this small incision, each vas tube is exposed to the exterior where it can be interrupted. Each vas, obviously left and right, is divided about one inch above each testicle where it, it is just beneath the skin, the thin scrotal skin, and is very easy to reach. Although some people remove a piece of the vas tube, many others don't. I don't do it. It really makes no difference on how effective the procedure is. Some surgeons tie off one or both ends of the interrupted tube using a permanent or absorbable suture, or even small clips used to stop bleeding blood vessels uh, during other types of surgeries. I don't tie the ends. Instead, I cauterize one of the ends, the one going into your belly, so that it seals by scarring. And then, in addition, I put both divided ends of the vas tube out of alignment by closing the sheath between the two ends of the tube with a dissolvable suture so the ends won't grow back together. That suture will be dissolved within 60 days and it's not going to be in your system anymore. Then. 12 weeks after the procedure, a semen sample is analyzed to demonstrate the absence of sperm in the semen. Quick, simple, and effective. So these are the five points I want you to remember about vasectomies and how I do them. First, a vasectomy blocks the sperm from entering into the semen. Second, it is a simple 10-minute office procedure. Third, it is done under local anesthesia without pain or use of needles. Fourth, no blades. No blades are used for the procedure. And finally, the effectiveness of the procedure is confirmed 12 weeks later.